It's like I'm gonna take that Malaysian job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you know, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lista. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra, traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need him. I hope you're right. Ah, all those years. <laughs> it's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Thanks. 
Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. We brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there has got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger yeah. that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to going vegan. Really? Excuse me. You kidding me? Hell no. What are you doing? I just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled off tougher heists than this. Yeah, I know. I know. I just. Try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. Sam is just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Hell, it's locked. Earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Oh, real smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, 
Shit. You, uh, need some pointers? No, just warming up, that's okay. all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab, right? Yeah. Good. Go. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is? Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Eight. You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah. Right. But you had a run-in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Yeah, lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man. There's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah. They're a full-service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. There we go. Let there be light. I'd like to go in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not going to fly. Dead end. Hey, uh... Are you worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Shh, shh, shh. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Marocchino in quella roba sul naso. Portali. Ah, sciacco tu dei piatti. Fresh air, here we come. Check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? 
You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that, find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. Got it? Heads up, heads up. <laughs> Buona sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. All right. So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, when in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. If you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh, no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Brave. How long has it been? 10 years? 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It's... What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, little man. Now, I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. 
I can do this. di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Ah, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Got a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. Have a minute, Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here and is a right now. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid, we're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Scott. Benny, we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bid has reached nope. 130,000. We are now at 100 points. Nothing. Damn it. There's gotta be something. Come You're on. Hey man, uh, all the way I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, euros. give me a sec. The bidding Damn it. 160,000 euros in the room. Yes. Signore's bid makes 170,000. We are now at 180,000 euros <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Gotcha. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's beat, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You letting him get away! You speak! Sparish! Huh? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we've really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. There's the ballroom. Driveway's right in front. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. I'm just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh, scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. 
Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Come on, Nathan Drake. Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. Don't telegraph so much. I'm just trying to make it fair. <laughs> nice try. I gave you that one. Freebie. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify! All right, look. I'm still a little jet-lagged. How about we just call it even? Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart-ass? Okay, come clean. You're no chiropractor. Your technique is really not helping my back. Alright, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right Just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. Te lo juro. Sono passati da da questa parte. From here, you got a way down? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. <laughs> All right, see you there. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh! Oh. Wait, Nathan! Hey, how's it going? Uh, you think I'm done with this Austin, huh? Oh yeah, me too. Alright boys, change your plan. Too many people trying to leave, the driveway's all jammed up. There's that fountain just outside the ballroom. I'll meet you there. Got it, let's go.
I hope I don't go to hell for this. Oh, shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Odie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's when Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Look, 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but it means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Ray's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. <laughs> With all that you two have been through together. She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. <sighs> I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me, yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's gotta keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Oh. Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are gonna have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Nice chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right, see you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah. Just, uh... Ah, uh, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scott.
Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? <laughs> Not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with a massive bounty on his head, it'd be a good place to hide. So, uh, what happened between you and Rafe? Nah, I couldn't deal with him. I'm pretty sure he'd had enough of me. I was still coming to grips with your uh, death and with his frustration from not finding the treasure. It, I'm pretty sure he was ready to kill me by the time I bailed. <laughs> Imagine what he want to do to you now. <laughs> yeah, trying not to. Sam, listen, he's ruthless. I mean, even more so than when we teamed up with him. I mean, I've heard stories. Trust me, me too. All the more reason I don't feel bad about any of this. So is it just like you remember it? Of the cathedral grounds? Yeah. Pretty much. Although it's been so long, it's a little hazy. These crane explosives. I think still in the cross might have made our boy Rafe a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, just a tad. What the hell is all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Look. I thought they were just by the cathedral. Oh, oh shit, no. get out! <laughs> Good. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, Shoreline. Seems like they were expecting us. And like they're searching away from the cathedral. Which means we should get to that graveyard pronto. Exactly. Why didn't you guys search beyond the cathedral? Oh, we did. A little. This place is so big, without knowing where to look. It's like shooting in the dark. Or like blowing shit up in the dark. So, this is what you've been up to all these years? <laughs> Jumping around ruins? Yeah, that and getting shot at. <clears throat> Blown up, punched, kicked. All right, all right, I get it. Knifed, drugged. Look at this place. Welcome to the St. Dismas Dormitory, alleged final resting place of one Henry Avery. <laughs> Let's find that grave. Hey, Nathan, check it out. This one's got a pair of cutlasses. It's like the scroll from the cross. The dates aren't right. Well, one down and a hell of a lot to go. Yeah, well, swords are a match. So is the year. <sighs> Sam, come here. Where'd you find it? <sighs> Benjamin Bridgman. That's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it doesn't belong to the stone. Well, I mean, what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing... Sideways. What is that? My God. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, I've been ready for a long time. Yeah, look at that. Let's see what we got. It's a crypt. A crypt? Hidden behind a secret door? I assume the secret door was added afterwards. <laughs> to hide his loot. Well, fingers crossed. Oh, ho, ho. gang's all here.
Jesus. Dismiss on the left. Penitent thief. Guest is on the right. Jerk thief. <laughs> Avery sure had a thing for St. Dismas, huh? Well, Avery fancied himself a good thief, right? Only plundered and murdered the non-British heathens. <laughs> Guess that's what passed for good back then. <laughs> good enough. Some kind of lamp. Hey, Smokey. Need your lighter over here. You know, that hurts my feelings. Not as much as it hurts your lungs. <laughs> Thank you, Father Duffy. Isn't that something? <laughs> okay, let's give this a shot. Oh, Ben Sesame. Wrong treasure. Shush. <laughs> well, nice view. No treasure, though. No, but look, you see those crosses? Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, is that a cave right below? Yeah, I think Avery's trying to tell us where to go next. There's one problem, though. Going back that way means we have to go back toward the cathedral. And back towards Rafe. Shit. Well, let's not keep him waiting. Are you holding up? <laughs> Great. I was kind of hoping to find the treasure back there, but you know, it's never that easy, right? That's been my experience. Plus, there was that cool constellation thing. Yeah, it was cool. Hey, you don't think the monks built this? No way. It's some kind of pulley system. Uh, to lift a whole bunch of treasure? To lift something. I can't believe I missed this. Yeah. Clearly, we were meant to find it together. No, <laughs> oh, so romantic. Status. Hey, Sully. We're on the trail, but the uh, treasure's closer to the cathedral than we originally thought. Oh, boy. So what do you need me to do? Uh, just keep those engines warm. We'll be back before too long. You got it. Keep me posted. Will do. Oh! Ah! Cliffs. Tell me All about right, it. Here we go. Ah! 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 Wait, wait, you okay? Yeah. Like I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hold on, I'll, I'll see if there's another. Oh, shit! Sam! I get stuck in the valley, huh? Maybe so. I can't feel my hands. Or something after all those years of Panama. Yeah, well, don't worry. The worst case, it was a couple fingers. <laughs> I guess that's why you have ten, right? Yeah, that's why we have ten. Hold on. I'll help you up. <sighs> there you go. Where would you be without me, huh? Uh, probably at home. Drinking hot cocoa? What are you, five? Oh, tell me you wouldn't go for some hot cocoa right now. Well, I mean, yeah. Exactly. Kid, dog's picking up. How's it looking? We're about to head into the cave. The cave? Yeah, might lose contact for a bit. Don't get too worried. All right, I'll keep the porch light on for you. All right, call you soon. <sighs> <laughs> we made it. It's quite the detour. Well, let's go see what Avery left for us. Yes, please. Those shoreline assholes were right next to this cave. Yeah, but I think we're the first ones in here. Come on, through here. But <sighs> I didn't eat a big breakfast. <laughs> Creepy St. Dismas statues, check. Carved stairs, check. Nathan, I think it's safe to say we're in a pirate cave. 
Oh, is that a door? It sure looks like it. Come here. Check this out. A little slimy. There's a handle in here or something. Well, give it a give it a pull. What? Could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I lose my hand? So we'll get you a nice hook. Give it a pull. <sighs> nice hook. All right, here we go. Really? Hello, hello. It's pretty interesting decor. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. To those who prove false, behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This... this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look. It's the Rhode Island pirate. Thomas too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is Two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this. How? It's a damn good question. So. Did Two build this place with Avery? I, I can't make sense of it. Uh, neither can I. I mean, if Avery's trying to hide his treasure, why involve another pirate? Uh, maybe he saw him as a part of his crew. Maybe he sent him one of those St. Dismas crosses. Yeah, maybe Two took all the treasure for himself. Please don't say that. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough. We're not going back that way. Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. This is elaborate. You could say that. Found another switch. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hand out. Whoa. Jesus. It's a pretty elaborate test, trial. Yeah, and this guy clearly failed. Then let's do better. There's something on the bottom there. It's a bucket. Huh, okay. Now what? <clears throat> ah! Woo! Bucket filled. Put it back in that big wheel thingy. <laughs> All right, let's see what these wheels do. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Is something with the three crosses? Yeah. I'm guessing we're looking at Jesus, our good thief Dismas, and the jerk thief Gestus. Okay, that's gotta be it. Let's find out. Let's? So you're gonna pull the switch? Oh, no, no. I'd, I'd hate to deprive you of that privilege. Of course. today so if that was a test what do you suppose it was testing exactly filling a bucket I had to know about st. Dismas whom I bet Avery and all of his crew were intimately familiar with <laughs> not that hard of a test maybe it's not the only one 
I live and breathe. Would you look at this place? Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. Make it happen. In the meantime, see what you can dig up without it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? Can we have a minute? Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. Did you hear? They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with They're the dialogue. They're like a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress? I can't analyze rubble. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No! I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I'll listen to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. Or maybe you wanted to draw him out. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. And maybe you do. Point is, I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here, we'll find it. And if not, well... Maybe it's time to move on, huh? It's not personal. Of course. I'll let you know if anything turns up. Let's get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. Oh, it's not making out. <laughs> hey, wait. You think she was right, though? About what? Rafe want to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. What annexed area you suppose they were talking about? There's gotta be some side chamber because we're the only ones here. If this place wasn't completely falling apart, we'd probably be trapped again. Nathan, look around you. Holy crap. This must have been another test, but it all just crumbled into the ocean. Well, I guess the test now is... How the hell do we get to the other side? There we go. Hey, nice air time. Uh, well, the tro- Oh, crap! I got you. There, thanks. There's another test down. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. Come on. Okay, getting a bit dramatic with the statues here. Seriously, like, why decorate a treasure burial site? Or build elaborate tests? 
I mean, either we're missing something, or Avery was really, really bored. Ugh. I'll never get used to this. It's another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Okay, so... It's, it's gotta be the coins. Right. Are we sure about this? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just, just one now. Great. I got it. Recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look, star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with us. What are you talking about? Avery, he's screwing with us. This was supposed to be it, so where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, King's Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Uh, throw me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the hose. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot him yet. Not want to hurry then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in King's Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. I'm gonna leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross the... You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! Nice work, man. We really kicked the hornet's nest. We kicked it. 
touched it and set it on fire. God damn it, Nate. I can hear the fireworks from here. What the hell's going on? Long story. Short version is get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I think it. Hold tight. Get there as soon as I can. Hey, kid. No place to land up here. Can you make it down to the water? Yeah, set her down. One way or another, we'll get to you. This one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? I, just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the Gunsway Hall look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? people who survived the caves, the recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. 
Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. the satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest for by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of vaccine driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, oh shit. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <coughs> That was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Got some big plans for this winch. Do it. Whoa, whoa. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> it's 
See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. But Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Check it out, boys. What is it? <laughs> Holy shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Well, it was worth a try. I'm gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, <laughs> but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners. <laughs> ah. All set. Here we go. share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Had the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <laughs> Hurry up, you two. And he's a... Sam, wait a 
Wait up! Come on! Right there, Victor, this way! He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Whoa. Magnificent. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey, guys? Coming! Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... It's, it's Adam Baldridge. It's uh, Joseph Farrell. That's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. That's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Uh, but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower, you and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly, so if we wanna have a chance to catch them, then we've gotta split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon.